Imagine a bottle tossed into the ocean, carrying a message from its origin, drifting for a chance encounter. Now, picture that ocean as the vast cosmos and the bottle as a machine, Voyager. This is the story of the Voyager probes, our messages in a cosmic bottle sent far beyond the solar system. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 and 2 are more than robotic explorers. They are our eyes and ears in the depths of space. They've traveled farther than any human-made object, revealing the wonders of the giant outer planets and their moons. Their discoveries have reshaped our understanding of our cosmic neighborhood. As silent ambassadors, they carry a piece of Earth into the interstellar medium. Voyager's legacy is not just in data, but in inspiration, fueling our dreams of interstellar travel. Even now, in August 2025, the probes are still out there, their signals taking nearly a day to reach us. They are pioneers, charting a course through uncharted space. Their journey is far from over. Their greatest adventure has just begun. Having crossed the threshold of our solar system, they now sail on the stellar winds. What they find in the vast emptiness between the stars may be their most profound message to us. Voyager's story began with a rare cosmic opportunity, a planetary alignment that happens only once every 176 years. In the late 1960s, Gary Flandro discovered that Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune would soon align, allowing a single spacecraft to visit all four using gravity assists. This grand tour would save decades of travel time. NASA seized the chance, but budget cuts forced a scaled-back mission Voyager. The goal was to explore Jupiter and Saturn, but the probes were built to last, with the hope of reaching Uranus and Neptune. Engineers designed them for endurance, programming trajectories to keep the Grand Tour option open. This foresight paid off. Voyager became the Grand Tour in all but name. The probes were equipped with cameras, spectrometers and magnetometers, ready to explore the unknown. They were the most sophisticated explorers of their time, built to take advantage of a planetary alignment that wouldn't return until the 22nd century. Voyager's journey was a bet on the future, a mission designed to push the boundaries of exploration. Against the odds, the mission would become one of humanity's greatest scientific adventures. The alignment was the key, but human ingenuity made the journey possible. Voyager was ready to seize the moment. In late summer 1977, humanity launched its messengers to the stars. Voyager 2 launched first, followed by Voyager 1 on a faster, more direct path. The primary mission, conduct the first detailed study of Jupiter and Saturn, their rings and moons. Scientists wanted to unravel the mysteries of Jupiter's great red spot and Saturn's rings. The probes, marvels of 1970s engineering, each weighed as much as a small car and featured a large high-gain antenna for communication. Power came from radioisotope thermoelectric generators allowing decades of operation in the cold, dark void. As the probes left Earth, they carried the hopes of a generation. The mission was bold, a statement of our capabilities and aspirations. If the probes survived Jupiter and Saturn, a new chapter could begin. Voyager 2's trajectory allowed for the possibility of continuing to Uranus and Neptune. The fate of the Grand Tour rested on these two remarkable machines as they ventured into the unknown. Their journey would forever change our view of the cosmos. In 1979, Voyager 1 and 2 arrived at Jupiter, transforming our understanding of the giant planet. We saw the Great Red Spot as a swirling hurricane and discovered Jupiter's bands were complex weather systems. The probes found a faint ring and revealed volcanic activity on Io, the first seen beyond Earth. Europa's icy surface hinted at a hidden ocean, raising hopes for life. Two years later, the probes reached Saturn, unveiling its magnificent rings, thousands of ringlets, braided and twisted. They discovered mysterious spokes and shepherd moons shaping the rings. Saturn's moon Titan was found to have a thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere, its surface hidden beneath orange haze. Data suggested a world with complex organic chemistry, possibly lakes of methane and ethane. Enceladus showed signs of geologic activity. These encounters rewrote textbooks and set the stage for the next phase, the voyage to the outermost planets. The primary mission was a resounding success revealing worlds both familiar and alien. Voyager's discoveries at Jupiter and Saturn inspired a new era of exploration. The journey was far from over. The next stop, the mysterious ice giants. After Saturn, Voyager 1 headed for interstellar space, but Voyager 2 continued the grand tour. In 1986, Voyager 2 reached Uranus, a planet tilted on its side, with a bizarre magnetic field and 10 new moons. Its atmosphere appeared featureless, 
but data revealed subtle weather patterns. Miranda, one of its moons, was a patchwork of canyons and cliffs. In 1989, Voyager 2 arrived at Neptune, discovering the great dark spot and high-speed clouds. Even in the cold, Neptune was dynamic, with powerful storms and unexpected weather. The probe found new moons and a faint, clumpy ring system. Triton, Neptune's largest moon, revealed geysers of nitrogen ice, cryovolcanism in action. With Neptune's flyby, Voyager 2 completed the grand tour 12 years, 4.4 billion miles. The planetary mission was over, but a new journey awaited. Voyager 2's next destination, the void between the stars. The ice giants had been revealed, but the greatest unknowns lay ahead. Voyager pressed on into interstellar space. With the planets behind them, the Voyagers began a new mission, exploring the edge of our solar system. Their goal was to cross the heliopause, where the solar wind meets the interstellar medium. For decades, the probes measured the changing environment as they approached this invisible frontier. In 2012, Voyager 1 detected a dramatic shift. It had entered interstellar space. For the first time, a human-made object was sampling the galaxy itself. Data showed a drop in solar particles and a surge in cosmic rays. Voyager 2 followed in 2018, giving scientists two vantage points in the interstellar medium. The boundary was dynamic and porous, not a simple line. The probes revealed the shape of our solar system's protective bubble and its interaction with interstellar winds. This science could only be done from beyond the sun's influence. Today, the voyagers measure the density and magnetic fields of the interstellar medium. They are our scouts in the galaxy, providing the first direct data from beyond the solar system. Their journey has transformed them from planetary explorers into galactic pioneers. The Voyager probes carry more than instruments. They carry a message. Each has a golden record, a time capsule from Earth, created by a team led by Carl Sagan. The challenge, represent all of humanity on a single record. The record contains 116 images, scenes of nature, people, science, and daily life. It's a visual encyclopedia designed for any civilization to decipher. There are greetings in 55 languages, sounds of nature, and a 90-minute selection of music from around the world. From Bach to Chuck Berry, the music expresses the range of human emotion and creativity. The golden record is a hopeful gesture. Its odds of being found are tiny, but that's not the point. It's a message to ourselves as much as to aliens, a symbol of unity, curiosity, and hope. The record says we are here. We value knowledge and beauty, and we reach out to the cosmos. Voyager's message will drift for billions of years, a testament to our desire for connection. It is humanity's greeting to the universe. The Voyager probes now race against time as their power dwindles. Each year, their generators produce less electricity, forcing engineers to shut down instruments one by one. The goal? Keep at least one instrument running to receive data from the edge of interstellar space. As of mid-2025, communications continue, a testament to their durability. Voyager 1 is over 15 billion miles away. Signals take nearly a day to reach Earth. The Deep Space Network's giant antennas capture these faint whispers from the void. Experts predict contact will last until around 2036, when power will run out. The probes will fall silent, but their journey will continue. They will drift through the Milky Way for eons, relics of a young, curious civilization. The end of the Voyager mission will mark the close of a remarkable era. For nearly half a century, they have expanded our horizons and changed our perspective. Their final signals will be a quiet farewell, but their legacy will echo for generations. Voyager's story is far from over. It will endure as long as the galaxy itself. Voyager's story is a human story, about curiosity and the urge to explore. The universe is vast and indifferent, yet we persist, sending machines into the unknown. This impulse is one of our noblest traits, driving us to cross oceans and now to map the cosmos. Voyager's legacy extends beyond science. It has inspired generations of dreamers and explorers. Its images, the volcanoes of Io, Saturn's rings, Neptune's blue marble, are now part of our shared heritage. They remind us of the universe's beauty and mystery. The Voyagers will travel for thousands of years, silent witnesses to cosmic events we can only imagine. Their journey highlights the immense scale of space and time, humbling us and expanding our perspective. In the end, the Voyager probes are a testament to the power of exploration. They began as a mission to the planets, but became a journey to eternity. Their silent voyage is a profound statement about humanity's place in the universe. We are a species that seeks knowledge and dares to venture into the unknown. The Voyagers are our emissaries, our goodbye to the solar system and our hello to whatever lies beyond.